hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is nilo and you're watching nilo stitches today's tutorial is going to be on how to make this off the shoulder ruffle cape design if this is what you're interested in please keep watching like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new please okay so um for the base um you can use any base of your choice maybe the fabric you're working with so the length the width of the base is 10 inches 10 inches and the length is my round shoulder plus zipper allowance my round shoulder is 42 plus 3 inches for my zipper making it 45 okay so like i said the width is 10 inches you can use 12 inches for your width you can use 10 you can use 9 so when you fold into two like this i have um five inches so i'm gonna sew it half an inch down to the other end okay i'll turn it out with half an inch so for the organza i made use of two and a half yard of organza i divided it into two so two and a half yard divide divide into two i have one yard and nine inches one yard and nine inches that gives us a total of 45 inches so you can use like 20 inches you can use 30 inches you mustn't use this 45 inches i made use of okay so it all depends on you and the length is i don't know it can be as long as possible so i divide that into two and i join it here so you can join fabric to get a long length to work with okay so i divide the two and a half yard into two and then i joined it to form a long length for me so as you can see i have a very long length now to work with so i'm going to fold this into two right side facing each other you fold into two and then you sew with half an inch seam allowance as you can see this is where i joined it together so you fold with half an inch seam allowance to form and then you turn it inside out so here is my base i'm done turning it and i iron it out also so i press this down so this is what i have after turning and this way um the width is about four and a half inches remember i told you the width was 10 yards i mean 10 inches so i fold this five inches so after sewing with half an inch i have four and a half inches here right now okay so like i said earlier you can use any of your choice any width of your choice so guys as you can see i've sewn it together so i'm going to turn it to the right side now i'll turn it inside out so here i'm done turning it inside out next is to mark out the measurement i need for the ruffle so this depends on you you can use six inches you can use four inches you can use um eight inches you can use 10 inches so i think you, what you need to do is to just exploit this to know what you want how full you want your ruffle to be so for my tutorial for this tutorial i made use of eight inches okay so i'll be marking it eight inches like this from this other line i'm going to mark another eight inches like so okay and i'll also mark another eight inches so i'm going to mark this eight inches all through the organza fabric and then i'll take this to the sewing machine and i'll gather them okay so gather it straight like this that's how you gather it like so so i'll go and do that and i'll be back and then for this i'll just gather you can gather it directly on your base but i will show you guys what to do so um after gathering it you bring your base this is it i've gathered like one side so i'll i'll show you guys what to do okay or better still let me gather this other side also so this is how you gather in case for beginners among us that don't know how to gather fabric but if you have your gather fruit it's perfect but for me i don't have that so i'll just use my trade like so you just stretch one of the trade and you gather it together like this okay so now you get your base 
from this end you're going to mark out your zipper allowance so if your zipper allowance is one inch you mark one and a half inch if your zipper allowance is one and a half inch you mark two inches okay just half inch is just to um, leave some space for the zipper side so here i marked one and a half for my zipper allowance and then from that line now you can decide to mark one inch or half inch or one and a half inch or 0 0.75 so for me i'm making use of 0 0.75 that's quarter inch okay 0 0.75 like i said you can use one inch depending on how full you want your ruffle to be so i'll just straight it out like this so all this line 0 0.75 you'll mark it all around your base and at the other side of your base, you also mark out your zipper allowance also, okay? So um, I'll show you guys how to fix this now. So this end, now what you need to do is to fold this, or you can also gather that part also. So, or you can fold it like this and just gather it to this zipper allowance. side. this first line that we marked, you're going to sew it like so. Just gather it or you fold it with your hands and place it on this first line now. And then you're going to sew it down, okay? You sew it down to seal the, to conceal the rough edge. And then you bring this second one that you made, you sew it on this second line like this. You place it and sew it straight. You take the third one also and place on this third line. Just follow the line and be placing it and then you sew it down straight straight like this you take this other one place it on the next line like this and so that is how you're going to be sewing all of them up to the end of the bees okay so i'll go and do that and i'll be back so guys here it is i'm done gathering the little fabric i have as you can see it didn't even conceal everything so i started from the middle so i can place it on the mannequin for you guys to see i didn't start from the first line anymore so that it can come out on the mannequin okay so if you're making a dress you need more of organza so this one is just for a tutorial I used two and a half yards of organza and this depends on your shoulder circumference and also the width you want for your ruffle so when you get to the end you need to conceal this side so that it will look like this other side also the last end when you get to your last zipper line you need to conceal this one also so but if you're making it this way it's going to be difficult to sew so what you need to do is to leave like five one two three four five before you fold in and sew so that it will be easier for you to conceal and then you start sewing the remaining one in between i don't know if you get it if you fold it this way to sew it will be difficult because it's tight already what you need to do is to leave like five lines when you count like five ruffles, you leave like five lines to sew. When you have like five lines and five ruffles to sew, you will now sew the last one first before you sew the remaining one in between. It will make it easier for you to sew, okay? If not, it will be difficult to sew like that, okay? So now, after that, all you need to do is to open this up like this. Just push it out like this to form your ruffle. So you can be pulling it out, you pull it out like this to form your ruffle, okay? So like I said in the beginning of this video that I made use of two and a half yard of organza fabric, which I divided into two, that gives me one yard and nine inches, which is a total of 45 inches width, okay? So you can use 20 inches, you can use 30 inches, all depends on you, depends on how full you want this to be, depends on the length, depends on your shoulder circumference, okay? And the length is what I said I really cannot tell. So you need as much as possible for your ruffle, okay? So, and this brings us to the end of this video. Please like and share this video. Leave a comment below if you have any question. And I'll be seeing you in my next tutorial. I love you guys. Bye.